Hi there. This is a little demo of a simple little tool I've written called AOV Compare. The purpose of the tool is to take two read nodes and compare the AOVs or the render passes that are available in each read node and give us a quick list of the differences between the two. I came up with this as an idea for a Python project um, a few months ago when I was working on a quick turnaround show with big CG renders. Uh, it was such a short deadline. The look dev for the renders never really got locked down. So every new render had a different set of AOVs, had different mats, had different lights. Uh, and it would often break our nuke scripts that we'd built the day before because layers had changed, names of layers had changed. Um, and it was a bit of a mess. And there were so many layers uh, in these renders that it was not easy to just look at the list of AOVs in the viewer and work out what had changed. So I thought uh, Python could do that for us. So uh, here's my tool. Um, I have four renders here, four versions of the same render. Uh, it's not a very good render, I just did it in Nuke as a test. But if you look up here, you can see that each render, each version of the render has um, different AOVs. Some are the same, some are different, um, and they are different between each version. So if I select these two read nodes here and I run my script compare AOVs, it will pop up this little dialog box and it will say oh, render version one has the following AOVs that are not in render version two. So we know that emissive and mats were in version one. They're not in version two anymore. So they've been removed in the new version and render version two has the following AOVs that are not in render version one. So this layer super spec has been added to our render version two. So then if I select version two and version three, and we run it again, you can say, oh, version two had super spec, version three does not. So they decided super spec was a bad idea and they took that out of render version three. Um, but you could see that render version three didn't have anything added. So um, we just saw that render version two had something uh, that wasn't there anymore. And if we run it between version three and four, we can see, oh, they've, they're the same. So they've obviously settled down on a look dev and they're now rendering stuff that's the same. So um, it's just a quick way of displaying what's changed between each version. Um, and you can see here that I also print out the results to the script editor. So if you wanted to uh, copy and paste this, and send it in an instant message or an email to the CG, uh, CG department or your supervisor or whatever. Uh, it's an easy way of getting hold of that. Um, it needs two read nodes to run. So if you don't have any read nodes selected or you've only got one or you've got something else selected, it's going to pop up a warning telling you to select two read nodes. Uh, simple little tool. Hope you guys find it useful. I'll include links to my GitHub page and the Nukipedia page below where you can download it and let me know if it works for you or if you can think of anything else I should add. Thanks.